Welcome to episode 143, Country Analysis, UK Top 5 Self-Made Billionaires. This is an outline of episode 143. There are three reasons why we study UK self-made billionaires. First, this is my second country analysis. I already did one on Australia. Second, 86% of UK billionaires are self-made one of the highest in the world. Third, UK self-made billionaires are among the most secretive. If you are looking for secrecy, you won't be disappointed. Many of them I cannot find a single video, a single interview. Even pictures are hard to find. Why are the UK self-made billionaires so secretive? Uh, because a lot of them are involved with tax dispute with the government. I think it's absolutely outrageous. These are incredibly wealthy men who don't pay British tax. Let us meet David and Simon Rubin, age 74 and age 76, net worth $17 billion. One of the brothers, David, finished A level. Simon did not. They were born to Jewish Iraqi parents in India. They made their fortunes trading commodities in Russia in the 1990s. In the 1990s, their profit on aluminum was said to be 40%. In 2000, they granted their first interview with Forbes magazine. The Rubens brothers ended up suing Forbes for referring to their connection to Russian mafia. So much for the benefit of granting an interview. Public personal website www.rubenbrothers.com Maybe they need better public relations. Number two is James Radcliffe. He's the founder of Ineos in 1998, less than 20 years ago. Age 64, net worth $10.6 billion, Bachelor of Science, Chemical Engineering, University of Birmingham, 1974. But other business leaders don't think it would be quite that clear cut. Come with me to Grangemouth, 25 miles west of Edinburgh. Jim Ratcliffe is the billionaire owner of this vast petrochemical plant, a giant sprawling complex at the heart of the Scottish economy. Are there a group of us that run in EOS? There are four of us, and I think we're a very consensus-oriented group. I certainly have my sort of approach to business, but it's shared by my colleagues, and we have probably 20 large businesses within INEOS, and they're all independent. There has sort of been three acts of, of INEOS. Uh, you know, that first um, growth phase, which was 10 years ago, 98 to 2008. Then we had the recession, which was obviously difficult. And this act three is much more organic growth oriented. Jim, 15 years ago, 50,000 people, 51 sites. How do you pull off a trip like that? Bear in mind, we, we kicked off in 1998 when we bought this business, this Antwerp business, uh, for about 87 million pounds, I think it was at the time. I became, if you like, an entrepreneur, which was at the age of 40. Number three richest self-made billionaire in UK are the Ian and Richard Livingstone brothers, age 55 and age 52, net worth $6.4 billion. They were secretive Jewish businessmen who invested all over the world. Ian was an autometrist, Richard was a charter surveyor. Con esta firma se marca el preludio de los tiempos de bonanza que se avecinan para nuestro país. Se trata de un convenio pactado entre el gobierno nacional y la empresa London and Regional, que se encargará de generar el desarrollador maestro de la antigua base militar de Howard. Son 20.005 hectáreas que integran el área económica especial Panamá Pacífico, que serán impulsadas hacia el progreso comercial del país. Se presagia un futuro promisorio para nuestra nación. 
De parte de mi empresa, London and Regional Properties, mi socio, Jaime Gelinski, y todos los que nos encontramos envueltos en este proyecto, me gustaría agradecerles por haberlos seleccionado a nosotros y haber confiado en nosotros para entregar nuestra misión para esta pieza de tierra de vital importancia. El plan maestro de este proyecto se presentará en un plazo de 90 días, después de firmado el contrato. Number four riches is Joe Lewis. He dropped out of school at the age of 15 to help his dad's business. He's Jewish and maintains a low profile. Since late 1979, he moved to Bahamas to pay lower taxes. I cannot find any video of him. <music> Number five richest UK Savoy billionaires are the Barclay twin brothers, David and Frederick Barclay. They were both born in 1934. They are 82 years old now. They made their fortunes in media and retail. But you may never have heard of them because Sir David and Sir Frederick Barclay are notoriously secretive. The Barclay twins don't pay personal tax in this country. So why is one of their companies claiming a billion pounds from the British taxpayer? And they've got a private island. So why is there so much trouble with the neighbours? I felt the best thing to do... Here's a little bit history of the Barclay twins. Every day I just feel... At least that's what I'm accused of by these billionaire twins. They own the paper that investigated MPs' expenses. So why do they hate it? when the spotlight is turned on them. If you can hand it out. Now we look at the data. If you had watched my video on Australia, you will find many similarities. If you had not watched my video on Australia, please watch video 90 and video 91. We have three surprises here. First, the richest self-made billionaire in UK are Indian immigrants. Second, Three out of the top five riches in the UK are Jewish. Third, three out of the top five riches in UK never went to university. I thought most of the riches in UK would come from Cambridge or come from Oxford. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your comments and questions below. My next video will be data analysis of 43 UK self-made billionaires. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.